Welcome to Jackal DIY and Tech. In this video, we'll talk about LEDs, like the ones you see behind me, and also the ones that you will see inside in just a moment. Now, if the motherboard that you have has a 4 pin connector, so it expects something like this one. This one is 4 pin. This is a 12 volt RGB strip. So you could connect this directly into the motherboard without any issue. And this strip came with this adapter. It has 4 pins and a USB socket at the end. So I can simply connect this and connect it to a USB port. Now it's not exactly bright right now, but I should be able to crank the voltage up or down. And with this remote you can basically change the colors, have on off, you have plus voltage, minus voltage, which is basically dimming. And you can also have like specify the bit that this will react to and in this case as you can see it's reacting to my voice which is quite cool because I thought that this would react to audio coming from the PC. Let me turn this off. Now the solution that I will show you is if the components that you have inside the PC in this case I have a CPU cooler that has a RGB connector which is 3 pin but my motherboard does not have a 3 pin connector. So, similarly to this one, the adapter that you will need, and this is the cheapest solution that you will get for the functionality that you want, is to get something like this. This is a 3 pin connector. This is for a RGB, so a traceable RGB, and this is 5 volts. But basically it's 5 volts, that's what the LEDs use. And this one has a SATA connector, which is the same as, just a moment, the same as a SATA connector, this one, the power connector for the discs. So you only need to have a free SATA power plug to plug this in, and you will get an ARGB connector inside the PC, even though the motherboard does not have it. So I have a free SATA connector at the top. I will plug this in. And now all I have to do is connect this adapter to the wire that is coming off of the LED, in this case CPU cooler fan. And also what I didn't show you is that you actually have some controls here. But I will show you those in a moment. Now because this has three pins, make sure that you don't connect it to an LED RGB strip which has 4 pins. Now all that I have to do is connect the 3 pins, plug it in, it only goes in one direction and there we go we have some lights. Nice. Now on the adapter itself I have some controls, you most likely won't be able to see them but it says mode plus so we can change the mode of the LEDs. We have the speed and mode minus. So you have 12 speed modes or 12 speed steps. As for the modes, in this case they are just changing the color, I would say. So this one is now a solid green, solid blue probably, solid red. So you have solid colors. Oh, this one's new. So you have a couple of modes that you can customize. Now in my opinion, this is a cheap and effective way to enable a RGB in the PC if the motherboard does not support it. But this also means that you won't be able to use any kind of software to adjust the LEDs. You will only be able to do so with this control.
Now I like the solution of this LED and this PC case also has just enough space to make the connector go like so. Put the plates back on. So this is how you can easily and effectively add a 3 pin 5 volt A RGB header to the PC if the motherboard does not have it. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we'll do something else in the next video.